Welcome back to the Project Blue Star Diary. This transmission starts in the Earth Sanctuary Z Shed, and my golly, it's Annie who's in fine form on the swag preparation for another Earth's Cool tour. Yeah, how are we doing there, groupers? I believe it's the 19th day of May 2009, and uh, it's a beautiful morning. It's a Monday morning. Monday? Monday? <laughs> and uh, we're just prepping uh, 20 swags for a group coming in tomorrow, some school kids for an Earth School tour, and uh, they'll be looking at the stars, learning about ecology, and carrying on about the world and the future. Uh, we've got work to do. I'll see you soon. Whoopsies, it's the 18th. Well, at least Annie knows what's going on. Now, it's not unusual to hear any of our team carry on about the amazing qualities of hemp. The plant has thousands of uses, ranging from building materials, clothing, fuels, medicines and food. Today we're exploring the various ways to make hempcrete. As rumour has it, you can make hempcrete to one-fifth of the weight of cement and nearly twice as strong. Let's put it to the test. Good on you groovers, uh, I think it's a Friday the 22nd of May 2009, we're about to make hempcrete, 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 have a look up here on the board, we've got six different types that we're going to play with, one is lime mixed with hemp, um, we're trying to get rid of cement here, we've got lime, sand and hemp as our second choice, then we're going to mix a bit of cement into the same mix to see if we uh, we need more of a uh, uh, something to uh, to do to hold it together better. Lime, sand, hemp and cement. Uh, we're going to try a variation of cement, sand and hemp and then we're finally going to try a foam mix. So we're going to, um, we've are going we got six pots here, we're going to mix them together and uh, see what the outcomes we get. We're looking for weight and strength and uh, something that will hold together for flooring of our domes as well as our, uh, our insulation around it. Let's uh, get to work. That's it, yeah, so you're looking at, yeah, go about half of that, Dad. This is going to be 50-50, yeah. And, yep. What's this one, Joey? This is a B, a B mixture, which is the uh, lime, sand and hemp. In a game of mix and match, Joey and I went on a hempcrete expedition to discover the golden ratio of strength to weight. Our aim was to reduce the amount of concrete and maximise the use of hemp fibre and sand, which is a safer, more eco-friendly and more abundant resource. Lime, cement and hemp in equal parts and it's already combining instead of very all right, Joey, what's this one? This is uh, recipe D, which is half lime, half cement, with equal uh, proportion of sand and hemp. There must be a hemp solution which is truly accessible to everyone. Uh, what's this one here, Joey? This is uh, D, which is uh, equal parts of sand and hemp, and also uh, one half of lime and one half of cement. Not a bad one. Part E, which is half cement, one part sand, and two parts hemp. We need to experiment some more to find a balance that allows for a lightweight and super strong brick or wafer. The result must be something that anyone can make for themselves. Uh, all right, we're doing a bit of a hybrid on this one, uh, having mixed the other five. Uh, this is G, and we're going to go 50% hemp, uh, which is, works out at two and a half cups 
um, 30% sand and uh, uh, about um, probably 5% uh, lime and 5% cement. So have a look. What we're trying to do is get a ratio of strength uh, to weight, uh, something that can be strong enough to, to put into moulds and uh, to use, uh, whether it be for flooring or uh, for these, uh, these triangles behind you. These ones over here. So we need something that's light enough that's not going to uh, fall on your head or collapse or break or, and can be uh, enough for a person to handle as well. It's all in the mix with your DJ. What do you reckon of this one, Joey? Just by, by looks, appearance and weight, we're sort of getting closer to what we're trying to achieve, I think, so you definitely have to use a lot less lime and a lot less cement as a binding agent and use predominantly hemp as much as possible a little bit more sand. Well. We've had a damn good crack at a few different hempcrete mixes. It's now time to let nature do her work and let them harden. Hopefully, in a few days, we'll see something that we're looking for. A positive global solution. Hemp, hemp, hooray. Excited. It is exciting, Danny. We've just got the arrival of 24 beautiful batteries here, uh, all the way from uh, Ballarat in Victoria. It's nearly 2,000 kilometres away. This is the first batch of brand new batteries we've ever got at the sanctuary. It, it, it could be big things. It's all about energy. And it's taken about two, two, three weeks to get up from uh, 2,000 k's away, but uh, we're going to replace the old batch in the, hopefully in the coming weeks. These need to get uh, strung together in series and uh, all the energy from our wind, wind power and our solar power will be going into these. These little guys, hopefully power in the sanctuary. 24 brand new batteries at Earth Sanctuary, you little beauty. It's been a typically busy week for all the team at Earth Sanctuary. In the late evenings we've got to work on the indoor cinema for our star show. Our aim is to take all visitors to the sanctuary on a joyride through the galaxy so that they can better understand the enormity of our universe and help put the challenges we face on Earth into better perspective. To achieve this, we've recovered some recycled bus seats which will get a Federation makeover to add a bit of flair to the Star Show intro. How are we doing there Groovers? We're here at the Solar City in Alice Springs, Central Australia and uh, it's wonderful to see solar power uh, in fruition and people using it to, uh, to generate power for their homes. This is a wonderful display of trackers behind us following the sun to maximise the energy they produce. This is solar power for the Project Blue Star campaign. Good to see. Go solar. Thanks for hanging out with us folks, you have been truly sensational. Keep smiling and catch you on the next transmission. Das ist gut, ja?